Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League One Predictions. A week, a week in that the FA Cup has taken place, League One is back in action. Um, so you know how I'll do this, just in case you don't, I will go back to the League One results from the weekend before the FA Cup. Um, but anyway, there's a few results that went against the odds, there's a few results that you know, probably disappointed some fans, so all, all feel free to put your comments down below. But anyway, guys, you know what to do, you know what I do, so subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Blackpool versus Fleetwood. Um, Fleetwood beat Tramia 2-1 at home. Um, it's very much, you know, it's a better result. Um, Blackpool 2-2 away to Itchwich. Um, you know, Blackpool sitting in 8th position, Itchridge sitting in 2nd. I was probably expecting a bit more of Itchridge, if I'm all honest with you. Um, but, you know, it's the way it goes sometimes. Um, but a very good point for uh, Blackpool. Um, this weekend, this goes 8th versus 7th. Um, a very much game that would definitely be, if one team wins, you'll be going up a place. If your team loses, you'll go down a place. This is like a very game that will change the table for next week. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Bolton versus Wimbledon. Uh, Wimbledon beating Gentlemen 1-0 at home. Um, you know, very good three points for Wimbledon. Bolton loses 7-1 away to Africa Stanley. I'm sorry, Bolton fans, that is not a misprint. I actually do remember, you know, that result happening um, when I was looking at the scores. Um, I'm very happy that Bolton... Points are in the plus. Um, now we're just literally 15 points away from safety. So about four wins away. I believe in Bolton will could and will do that. Um, I don't know anything more about Bolton. Supposed to be to, to deducted more points. And um, I tried to trace it up. I can't find anything else. All the stats I'm looking at have still got the points plus. So whether that was a you know a bit of speculation by a certain thing, I don't know. But as it stands, as I'm doing this, you're in the plus. So hopefully, three points for you this weekend. I'm going up against a very good Wimbledon side who are currently in 19th, a team that Bolton is chasing down. But because Bolton are at home, I'm going to go for a 2 1 Bolton win. My next one is Bristol Rovers versus South End. Bristol Rovers beaten Shrewsbury Town 4 3 away from home. South End losing 4 0 at home to Oxford. Disappointing day for South End. Um. It's going to be another interesting game, I think. I mean, you've got Bristol Rovers in ninth, and you've got Southend in 22nd, currently in the relegation zone with Bolton. Um, I find this interesting because a result on the Bristol Rovers end could put them well in the playoffs as this busy Christmas period kicks off. South and win it, they could start looking towards survival. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Bristol Rovers win. My next one is Burton Albion versus Lincoln City. Burton Albion losing 1 0 away from home to Peaceborough. And I don't think Lincoln had a game supposed to play Berry, I'm assuming. Um, so we've only got that Burton Albion result to talk about. Disappointed day for Burton Albion, but as far as this game goes, 
as the table says, leaning in 80, Burton Albion in 40. I'm going to go for a one all score line for that one. My next one is Coventry City versus Itchridge. Itchridge drawing with Blackpool 2 2 at home. Um, Coventry 1 1 away to Sunderland. Um, a good point for Coventry. Um, you know, away to Sunderland. Um, Sunderland, you know, had their expectations this season. Currently at 11th place, Sunderland are. So that's a very good point for Coventry. Um, Coventry have started to make St Andrews their home. It's why they're currently in fifth place. Um, Itchwich, um, 2 2 at, at home to Blackpool, sitting in second place. Um, five points off Wickham Wonders, who's top of the league. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for. T I'll go for a 1 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Doncaster Rovers versus MK Dons. MK Dons currently in 21st position. Um, and they lost to Wolfram 3 2 at home. Um, Doncaster losing to Wickham Wanderers 1 0 away from home. Um, Wickham Wanderers ain't got a game this weekend. Uh, both teams are going into this game with a defeat from the previous D2 uh, results. I'm just trying to find Don't it's, it's gonna be interesting again because MK Dodds lead the win to even put the pressure on the relegation zones. Um but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a two one Doncaster win. My next one is Gillingham versus Sunderland. Sunderland 1 1 at home to Coventry. Gillingham losing 1 0 away to Wimbledon. Gillingham are currently in 15th, whereas Sunderland are in 11th. Uh, both teams slightly underperforming. Um, I know a lot of Sunderland fans, um, and if you are a Sunderland fan, uh, same with any fan, please feel free to put your comments down below. I think I'm really underperforming again this season. Um, you know, we're 17, 18 games in. The only ones I've got to play catch up games are Bolton with 15 games played. Um, I'm really. This Christmas period could decide something in season. As far as I'm concerned, my opinion. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Sunderland win. My next one is Oxford versus Shrewsbury Town. Um, Shrewsbury losing 4-3 at home to Bristol Rovers. Oxford beating Southend 4-0 away from home. Oxford, I'll be very surprised if they're not playing League One football next season. Um, I know only one team could go up for the playoffs. Um, it's got to be tight. I think possibly that um, Oxford could even make the top two if uh, Itchrish uh, don't start picking up again. Um, Shrewsbury um, sitting in 12th. Middle of the table, you know, um, but as far as this one goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Oxford United win. My next one is Portsmouth versus Peaceborough. Portsmouth beating Rochdale 3-0 away from home. Great three points for Portsmouth. 
Peterborough 1 0 winners at home against Burton Albion. So both teams going into this weekend with a victory from the previous league two fixtures. Um, it's, I think there's going to be, I think there's so many interested games in the EFL this weekend. I mean, you've got the likes of Peterborough who are in third, and then you've got Portsmouth who are in tenth. But a win for Portsmouth can easily put put them into that playoff places or just outside them. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Rotherham United versus Rochdale. Um, Rochdale losing 3 0 at home to Portsmouth, just as you mentioned that. Rotherham beating MK Dodds 3 2 away from home. Great three points for Rotherham. Um, Rotherham are another team that, you know, do fall in and out of the championship on a regular basis. Um, I think if Wolfram get back up there, they need to start establishing themselves as a championship club and try not to get relegated. I know that's hard. Um, Rochdale sitting in 16th, 19 points. You know, got a couple of weeks breathing space. But as far as this week goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Wolfram win. My last one for this weekend is Tramiel versus Africa and Stanley. Africa and Stanley beating Bolton 7 1 at home. Um, Tramiel losing 2 1 away from home to Fleetwood. Um, Tramiel are currently in 20th and Africa and Stanley are in 17th. So this could be another change of position game for both clubs. As far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Watch plenty of my videos, which are popping up on the screen now. And ciao for now.